Welcome to Business Reporter. I'm Louise People, and today I'm joined by Alan Calder, founder of IT Governance, and today we're discussing cybersecurity. So Alan, thank you for joining me. When it comes to cybersecurity, we have a tsunami of information giving us this advice, yet the criminals are still infiltrating this. What's the biggest misconception? The biggest misconception that individuals and businesses have is that it's not them. It is them. The reality is that every individual, every business is a target for cyber criminals because every business has things that cyber criminals can take, steal and sell. You've got to think of cyber criminals as being a bit like predators on the savanna. They don't go after the big bull elephant, they go after the weaklings. And every organization that has vulnerabilities in its cyber security defenses is a weakling. And so the hordes of uh, cyber criminals who, you know, they're not jihadists, they're not activists, they're not kids in basements, they're professionals, they're white collar criminals for whom this is the lowest cost, lowest risk, highest return crime option available to them, will search out all of the weaknesses will break in, will steal the stuff you've got, and they will have done it months before you even realize they're inside your network. Now, it seems like a huge investment for these criminals to succeed. What is their business case? Well, it isn't a huge investment. That's exactly the thing. It's probably the lowest cost, least risk, highest return option for cyber criminals. You can commit cyber crime from outside the jurisdiction that you're attacking, so nobody can lock you up. You can steal information from millions of organizations that are weak, steal their money, their bank account information, and you can sell it on the internet, on a part of the internet called the dark net, which uh, you can sell or buy anything you want to. There are no rules. People guns, drugs, data information. You can sell it for money that uh, doesn't have to go through a bank account called a Bitcoin. It's the best form of crime for anybody. You don't have to break into a bank, uh, get arrested, get beaten over the head, no GBH. It's just nice, straightforward, beautiful white collar crime. And how can they hide this from the, from the police? Well, because they're very good at cyber security, our cyber criminals, they understand about vulnerability. So they're very good at catching intruders who are trying to get onto darknet websites. And there are a couple of specialist police units who've succeeded in taking down some darknet sites, like one called Silk Road. Mm -hmm. But of course, they're very easy to fire up a new uh, darknet site. So as quickly as international police units take down one site, so more open up with even better defenses, and the criminals simply get on with doing what they're doing. The reality is there is so much money available through digital crime, cyber crime, that the tiny resources the international police forces pitch against them are simply insufficient to deal with or control the crime wave. So you're saying we're all going to be breached at some point. Yep. What's your solution? Solution is to implement ISO 27001 to put in place a top management driven, properly resourced, competent management system that, uh, in which you determine the balance between risk and reward, you put in place controls that protect the organization and you have an outside certification body audit you against the recipe, against the standard and tell the world that actually you're addressing security properly. And how do IT governance work? How do we work? We've been helping organizations tackle ISO 27,001, probably longer than anybody else in the world. And we help organizations with consultancy support, training, with tools and software, whatever mix of products and services a, an organization needs in terms of their own culture and approach to get them to the place where they've got just the right amount of security for their business. Now, this is all talking about the now. What about the future? Well, the exciting thing about the future, if you're a cyber criminal, is that you're going to have new attacks, new methods of breaking into organizations every day. And the good news about ISO 27001 is it's built around the idea that organizations should look ahead. They should identify the changing threats and vulnerabilities and adapt their methods of responding to them. So I have some hope that as more organizations adopt ISO 27001, so we as a society become increasingly secure. The the weakest link from a cybersecurity point of view tends to be either human beings or weak suppliers because those are two routes that cybersecurity attackers can find into organizations. So a strong collection of individuals leads to a strong society, leads ultimately to reductions in opportunities for cyber criminals. It's been fascinating learning all about this today. Thank you for your time, Alan. Thank you.